Cool. Just quickly on freedom of speech, I think um, I, I, I completely agree with Douglas. I think freedom of speech is the issue, and I think I'm completely opposed to Holocaust denial laws for the reason Douglas outlined. I think they make the problem worse because they feed into a view amongst these already quite potty people that we've got something to hide. We're defensive. We can't prove that the Holocaust happened, so we have to f surround it with this force field protecting it from public debate. It feeds into their whole kind of conspiracy theory, so we should just allow them to say whatever they want, publish whatever they want, and we should confront it and argue against it with facts. But one quick thing. In, in Denmark, where the killing happened, and th that guy, we presume, was offended and therefore thought he had the right to kill those who offended him, we have to remember that the actual penal code in Copenhagen forbids people from degrading or insulting groups of people on the basis of their faith. So he didn't have to trawl the internet and look for Islamist videos telling him that it's really bad for people to offend your faith. He didn't have to read the Quran to get that idea. It's written into the law of his own country. And that's one of the problems we face today. We live in, in Europe, there are too many hate speech laws. There are too many pieces of legislation forbidding the insulting of Islam or the ridicule of certain groups of people. We need to dismantle piece by piece every piece of censorious legislation in Europe and send the message, you do not have the right not to be offended. That's not a right you enjoy in Europe. If you live in this continent, you will be offended, and you have to get used to it.